What's up, Street Talks, the Eric from the Eric and Street Photography blog. So I just wanted to do a quick presentation talking about practical things and tips you could do in case you lose your passion for photography. So uh, sorry, I forgot your name, but uh, someone on my YouTube channel asked, you know, uh, I have some certain tips for reigniting your passion for photography. But what if you've totally lost your pa your passion for photography where you used to be kind of like uh, really into passionate and photography and you just wanted to make photos all the time. But now you don't feel inspired, even though you go out, you don't really see anything. And so these are some practical tips I'd give you guys. So number one, think about duty, not passion. I think passion is something that's a little bit overrated in photography in the sense that all of us have passions when it comes to things in life. But the issue with passion is certain days we're really, really passionate about something and we have so much motivation and inspiration and other days we don't. And the issue with passion is that passion kind of comes and goes. However, if you want to think about it in a more um, you know, epic way, I suppose, thinking about duty, that knowing as a photographer, it's your duty to go out and make images because there's so much beauty in the world and so many things are happening. And if you're not the one out there capturing the moment, no one else is going to be capturing it for you. Another tip is taking a break. Know that in photography, sometimes you're so caught up in having to always take photos every single day. I'm not actually a huge fan of these 365 day projects where you take a photo every single day. The reason is you start to take photos for photo's sake rather than taking photos that really have meaning. And uh, I know a lot of photographers that, you know, just taking a break for your photography is a good way to ignite your passion because let's say you always take your camera with you everywhere you go and you don't really see anything interesting. But by taking a break, put away your camera in the drawer, then just kind of live your everyday life and you'll probably find situations where you feel frustrated that if you had a camera, you could go out and make a, a good photo of a scene. But by not having your camera, it helps you appreciate what you don't have. Uh, another tip is perhaps you take a break and you pursue other types of photography or other types of art forms. It could be painting, drawing, theater, dance, who knows, maybe even rap music or break dancing. And you might not be a photographer at the end of the day. And so it's totally fine too because the point isn't to be the world's best photographer, but to have enthusiasm for life, to have passion for life, and do things that bring you joy and bring joy to other people. So just take a break. Tip number three, think steady burning coals, not gasoline. And this is one piece of marriage advice that I got from uh, some, one or either my priest or somebody I met, is when it comes to young, passionate love, it's like gasoline, you know, you put in a fire and it just kind of explodes with enthusiasm and all this energy but uh for any of you guys who have gone camping just throwing a bunch of gasoline on the fire it'll explode and be really really hot for a little bit and then it'll just totally evaporate and so the same thing is uh, or so the other analogy is think about steady burning coals where it might not be a hundred percent you know super hot when you're doing it but by the time you actually Think about your photography or your love for a long term. A steady burning coal will last and bring you warmth for a long time. So if you ever go camping, you essentially want steady burning coals. So I think the same thing with your photography is that you don't want your photography to come into these epic bursts where you're just super inspired and you don't take photos. Super inspired, don't take photos. Think of just about being steady. And I think a lot of that is actually not putting pressure on you. For me, I always like to have my camera with me because you never know when... It's going to be a good photo. But know that you don't always have to take a photo every single day and of every single thing you see. And so therefore, your passion or your enthusiasm for photography could be like a steady burning coal where it's delivering you consistent warmth for your entire lifetime, even though it might not be super, super hot and other times totally extinguishing it. Uh, tip number four, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't forget that photography is supposed to be fun. Oftentimes, I think a lot of photographers put unnecessary stress on them to say, oh, I always have to be taking photos and I have to be a better photographer and I need to get more Instagram followers and whatnot. By taking yourself too seriously, I think it steps at all the enjoyment and fun out of it. If you think of uh, children, they play at a, a playground. They just have fun for the sake of it. They don't play on the playground because someone pays them 20 bucks an hour to do it or something like that. And if you have a 95 job and you're making you know, a steady income and living, Photography should be your leisure. It should be something that removes stress from your life rather than adding stress to your life. And the last thing is, don't forget what photography is all about. Photography for me is about capturing personal images that are personally meaningful to me, images that make me appreciative and happy about my life and hopefully spread some joy to other people. And so know that 
you don't have to do just do this through photography. A lot of people think of uh, study philosophy, a lot of people write, journal, uh, participate in other art forms. And I think it's all about creativity and self-expression. And so once again, if you've found yourself losing all your passion for photography and you don't want to take photos anymore, maybe it's a time for you to pivot, it's time for you to pick up a video camera, or it's time for you to do audio, uh, to do, once again, uh, like the example of freestyle rapping. It's Art is art and art is universal and photography is just another way to express yourself. So once again, if you've totally lost your passion for photography, I hope these are some strategies that help you reignite your passion for photography. And if not, that's totally cool too because the point of life is to, once again, have joy, spread joy, love and be loved and all that good jazz. All right, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out, stay inspired, and uh, hit the streets.